So a couple weeks back, we made a Sichuanese Mapo tofu recipe, and I told you guys that we would be using that recipe again um, in another recipe. So today, what we're going to be making it's uh, it's something special. It's uh, Mapo tofu buns. And I had seen this on actually like a travel channel and the pleading skills of the, the people that were doing it were really amazing because um, mapo tofu, what they were using was like a very soft type of tofu. And so I'm gonna try to do that today. I'm a little bit nervous about, you know, being able to fold um, it because it is so soft, but we're going to try it today. Uh, and, and you get the best benefits of fluffy buns as well as mapo tofu inside the buns. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Okay, so today we're gonna do the plain buns recipe from the Vegan Dim Sum Cookbook. And the reason is because, because we're filling it with um, mapo tofu, which is something that is super, super soft, you want to kind of find buns that are a bit heartier, a little bit drier because otherwise the form is uh, most definitely going to deflate. So uh, here we're gonna have two cups of unbleached flour. This is just some yeast, some sugar, a little bit of salt. So three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder a little over a half a cup of, of um, warm water so just like normal I, I save a little bit um, of water just in case, because in case of like, if the environment's a little bit wetter, if I was a little bit, you know, more heavy handed with, with measuring, if the flour is a little bit different. So generally you wanna get to kind of this um, flaky stage before you determine like, okay, like, am I going to need kind of more water. And this is a medium type dough. It's not too soft. It's not too dry either. I'm just, and the best way to do this um, before you start using machine is to just like, you just want to feel the dough, like get a good understanding of it. Like you might have to make it a couple of times before you like really understand it. And you just want to knead it for six to seven minutes until you get a semi-smooth ball of dough. Okay, so something like that, perfectly just acceptable at this point. So I'm actually just going to put a little bit of oil over this, also to help it release a little bit from the from the wooden bowl. Okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna stick this in a warm place, maybe like a slightly warmed oven, and then just let that rise for about an hour. Okay, so for the filling, I'm going to be using a box of this silken tofu. Um, I think silken or soft is going to work. Um, that was the kind that they were using. If you're not too comfortable with filling things that are too soft and squidgy yet, um, feel free to substitute it for like a firmer type tofu. But I think what I'm gonna do with the mapo tofu filling here is to just make sure that I get rid of a little bit more liquid or you can put in a little bit more cornstarch in the slurry at the end so it really uh, holds together. Let's see if I can get away with not using any oil or additional oil this time. Close, so. I just like a lot of garlic.
fermented beans, fermented black beans. So, chili powder. Add in the TBP. and a half cups of water. I'm going to try to not add too much water. Um, I'm a little bit nervous about having this sauce be overly runny. So two teaspoons of citron pepper corn. Okay. Let's see how nice that meat sauce is looking right now. need to be careful about not having this too thin so this may or may not need to just uh, reduce some more is put this in And then, of course, final bits. Yeah, put the scallions in. So you definitely want to let this cool down before you use it as a filling. Okay, so it needs to be pretty much completely cooled. It rises, but because this dough is stiffer, um, it doesn't it doesn't do like crazy rises. And sometimes you do just want to knead it for one or two minutes because after it's just finished rising, um, not only do you have to redistribute the yeast, but you also want to give the dough back its structure. You do want to work it a little bit, otherwise it gets really difficult to. Um, to kind of roll and form into a bun, especially because our filling is uh, quite soft, <laughs> quite soft today. Okay. So we turn it into a circle again, press it down, then you already have your disc shape. So, little flour on my rolling pin. I don't really think I need it on the buns. So keeping it somewhat thicker in the middle and then just focusing on the outer, maybe like outer inch, outer half an inch, and then making that thinner. Um, so you can kind of see that little <laughs> roll. So I'm, I feel like this is almost about six inches. I kind of want to make it a little bit bigger to give myself some room for this. I don't really want it to spill out. So that seems, <laughs> that seems brave. That seems like it's fairly big. <laughs> so I'm just making little accordion shapes. I'm cupping it with my hand. Okay. And then just folding and pinching. And there's a point where you need to start adjusting where you might want to, and I don't want to get my hands dirty, but when you do this, it stretches out the dough for you so that you get a little bit more dough to work with. This is going to be where you take your other finger and literally squish it down because you don't want this to get to the edge, spill out, well, spill out like that. So we're going to just continue kind of finding little pinch spots and you can either pinch this part off or you can squish it back down so we have something like that and when I saw it in the travel videos actually the ladies because it was so wet it was actually a lot of the filling was spilling out so it, there was like red oil everywhere and it was uh, it was messy but it was really pretty at the same time 
So you can either oil your like mat, <laughs> your um your steamer mat, or you can get one of these these guys. So this is the first time I've made this recipe, but I would err towards the steamer being high to medium high. You just want a lot of steam in it, so you want a lot of water in that steamer. And that's just to ensure that there's enough heat so that the buns rise, but then also enough heat for it to set. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes or so. Oh. <laughs> So this actually held up quite well considering I was worried about the the filling kind of flattening everything but these are okay and like this here I've seen this in videos as well where like some of the filling kind of like leaks through or um, like some of the citronese oil or something leaks through and I don't know I, th I think it's kind of kind of pretty. Mm -hmm. 